Oh, Nintendo. It's like you're trying to make video games antisocial. Hey guys, Pagai Rules here, and let it glow, let it glow, let it glow. Uh, Merry Christmas and holiday stuff. Uh, we are back with January, December issue for uh, 2004. Although, I, I guess it's the December issue of 2003, January 2004. Anyway, holiday 2003. And uh, I do believe this was uh, first year of All Grown Up, Rugrats. Uh, yeah. Good show, really underrated. Um, it's on Netflix now. I advise you to check it out. Uh, some of the later episodes didn't even get shown on uh, Nickelodeon. And by the way, the uh, the Finster who stole Christmas uh, Christmas special, really depressing, but uh, still funny. All right. Anyway, on to the um, on to the Christmas guide here. <laughs> I like the uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Man, Nintendo was really pushing that back then. Okay, so, we have... Uh, oh, and it makes sense, because it was the first one with the the backlight, which... Whoever invented that man gets a pat on the back light. Anyway, 2003 gift guide. First up, we have American Idol. The official video game, because you know how many unofficial American Idol games there are out there. Um, what's there to say? It's, uh, it's American Idol. And, um... That's odd. They have it for Game Boy Advance. Okay, PlayStation 2 and PC. I suppose you could plug in a microphone. Does it even... Does it, what does that say down there? Official PC game. Um, I suppose if technology existed that you could plug in a microphone and uh, actually sing. Uh, I don't know if that's what those games are. However, for Game Boy Advance, there is no possible way. There, There's no Game Boy Advance microphone. I don't know what minigame they must have used to represent singing, but there is no way that involves any actual singing. So, um, I'm confused as to what that game could possibly be. Uh, American Idol is now a video game. Performed for America's favorite judges, Randy, Paula, and Simon. Uh, sing along with 40 top hits, also featuring party karaoke and dance mat modes. Okay, there, there is also, again, no way that there's dance mat mode for a Game Boy Advance version. And wait, why is there dancing in American Idol game? Uh, fun for family and friends, make American Idol the number one video game on your wish list. Check it out at Codemasters.com. I... Alright. Ooh, hey, more Pokemon cards. Um, let's see, we're at Pokemon EX series, that, that, uh, the Game Boy series of, uh, I mean, the Game Boy Advance series of card games. Uh, were pretty pretty popular. They introduced, I think, EX cards. Um, really powerful stuff. Uh, really cool. And um, and yeah, that's about it. Next, we have Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, which I know absolutely nothing about, other than that it was made by Sega. Also, um, from the makers of Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know why they need to tell us that. Pretty sure most people know who Sega is. Um, but, um, yeah, Billy Hatcher. Um, like, yeah. It's only for GameCube. Um... Yep, very interesting name. Um, I I may have seen a little bit of the game, although I, I get this game confused with um, Katamari, <laughs> Hidash, uh, Katamari something or other. Um, but uh, so yeah, let's see what it says here. Introducing the new hero in a little kid's body, uh, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg pits a boy in his legendary rooster suit against forces of evil. Battle of big barnyard bosses. Ooh, added alliterative appeal. And solve puzzles as you navigate magical eggs through huge, colorful environments. Hmm. Somebody in the comments let me know if this was a good game. I, th I think it was. I think I heard it was, but uh, never had it. So, oh, look, more flashing uh, lollipops. Yum. The galaxy's best ever light up lollipop. Uh, flash in licks light up lollipops and magically light up with each and every lick. Your mouth will explode with flashing lights. And awesome flavor. It is the coolest, brightest lollipop ever. Look for flash and licks, lollipops, and candy stores everywhere. <laughs> the Haunted Mansion. Really. They made a game about the Haunted Mansion. Um, I believe, based on the Eddie Murphy movie, based on the Disney Park theme ride. Uh, 999 ghosts can't be wrong. Yes, they can. They're dead. They, they, they died before video games even existed. Um... Discover the secrets of the Haunted Mansion. Trouble has found Zeke Holloway. The famous house wa of wall-to-wall -wall creeps and ha hot to cold running chills. Zeke must put unwelcome evil spirits to rest while trying to keep himself from being scared to death. Literally! There's no turning back now. 
Oh, free movie pass inside. That's how you know your movie's not doing too well if you have to give away the passes in video games. Or, conversely, that's how you know your video game is crap and you're just releasing it because uh, you, re you need to release it in time for the movie. Which is a really stupid practice, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, I've never heard of this TDK company. Um, I can't imagine this game would be good. Moving on. Ah, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas on DVD. Very classic, uh, timeless animated favorite on DVD and VHS from Paramount Home Video. Um, yep, that's, there's nothing to say there. It's an amazing Christmas special. Um, love it to death. Anyone who hasn't seen it should be not hugged this Christmas season. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay, um, what, what is this? Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. Really? This, these are the video games you're going to go with. You know, you're, you're launching the, the Game Boy Advance to SP, and, you know, Nintendo is heavily backing this, this advertisement here. And what, what games are you going to show off? You're going to show off, okay, you're going to show off American Idol, Billy Hatcher, which may be an alright game, Haunted Mansion, and now, uh, Disney Skate Adventure. Just by looking at the title, just by looking at this little kid right here, just by looking at the franchises they picked, I mean, what? What? Why? Just, just why? I, I don't, I don't understand why a skateboarding game based around Disney characters needs to exist. Um, and from the looks of Tarzan, Toy Story, which for some reason has the logo when the other two don't, and The Lion King. Of any character that you would possibly pick to be skateboarding. I mean, I guess maybe Toy Story makes sense, but Tarzan and The Lion King? Really? Alright, let's see what the blurb says. Skate like a pro. Skate in the real world or in Disney Dash Pixar's Toy Story 2, Disney Disney's Lion King, or Disney's Tarzan environments. So you can choose to be in the regular world or you can choose to be in one of these environments. Why would you ever choose the real world? Why? Okay, create your own skater or play as 12 movie characters. Again, why would you create your own skater? The only reason you're buying this game is because you like Disney. and um, uh, Powered by Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 game engine. Wow, so, so basically, I mean, you're just flat out telling us, hey, look, this is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Pretty good game, by the way. At least um, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games that I've played are pretty good. You're, you're basically telling us this is a game based on a better game, but with crappy Disney characters, which means it's probably a crappy tie-in. And I don't mean these characters are crappy. I just mean it's a crappy tie-in game. Probably garbage. I don't know. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to say they played it and, I don't know, maybe rave about how good it is. I don't know, maybe it's alright, but I mean, I just, th there's some, I, I wouldn't buy this in the store. I, I, I like, I'd look at it and I'd just, I'd, I'd die a little bit inside. Alright, but that's what Christmas is about, commercialism. Mm. Pokemon Channel, um, one of the very few Pokemon games I have never played. Uh, let's see what it says. Pokemon have taken over your TV. Surf different channels as you connect with lo interact with loads of Pokemon style shows. With Pokemon news, an art class, a host of mini games to play. There's no need to. There's no end to the things you and Pikachu can explore together. Pokemon Channel only for Nintendo GameCube. Um, what I get, what I can guess, it's this weird thing with a bunch of different mini games and areas, uh, like a kind of mashup of a bunch of mini games. Um, I. I also heard things like it's a little bit like Hey You Pikachu, a little bit like a kind of a sequel to that, but again, I, this is a game I don't know much about, um, so yeah. And last but not least, we have the Game Boy Advanced SP. Again, that backlight, I mean, brilliant, just, just brilliant. Um, the days are growing shorter and the nights longer, which is great news for all you gamers. Light up your holidays with Game Boy Advanced SP, featuring a lit screen and a rechargeable battery. Game Boy, oh, and rechargeable battery, that's another uh, another genius idea right there, because batteries die really easily, um, and yeah. The Game Boy Advance SP is definitely, it's one of those upgrades that was really needed. Like, um, from the DS Lite to the DSi may not be needed, you know, from the DS to the DS Lite may not even be needed, but this is one of those that they, they, they really nailed it. Like, the how, how small it is, how compact it is, how... Just, just everything about it is brilliant, um, and it's really lightweight too, surprisingly, compared to a DS or a 3DS. Alright, so, 
that's about it. Here's our wish list. Let's see. Uh, of any of this stuff, what would I actually want now? Um, or even as a kid. Let's see. I wouldn't want American Idol. Uh, I'd want the Pokemon cards. I'd want Billy Hatcher, just to try it at least. Uh, not Lollipops. Not Haunted Mansion. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, sure. Not Skate Adventure. Pokemon Channel, sure, just to try it. And an SP would be awesome. Other than that, I mean, they pick some pretty crappy stuff to be on here. Oh, well. Pie Guy Rules, out. Happy Holidays.